Welcome to Leith Nautical Sailing Academy. I'm Paul Murray and today I'm going to be introducing you to a course to steer. In this example we'll be using RYA chart 3. We'll plot a one hour course to steer. We'll be starting from just outside Victoria and we'll use one hour of the tide. We begin by marking the start position for our passage on the chart. We mark this with a symbol for a fix, a dot and a circle. Step two is our destination. We mark our intended destination on the chart and we can mark this with the symbol for a waypoint. We now draw a line that goes from our start position to and beyond our intended destination. This will be our ground track. Step three is to add in the set and rate of the tidal stream for our passage. In this example, the set of the tidal stream is 340 degrees true and the rate is two knots. Step four is to mark off the distance we expect to travel at our current boat speed. We've anticipated that for this passage, our boat speed will be six knots. So we connect the end of our tide line with our ground track by marking a line that is six nautical miles long. This line that we have drawn is our water track and it represents the course that we need to steer in degrees true in order to sail along our ground track. The bearing of this line will be our course to steer in degrees true, in this case 256 degrees. All we need to do now is to convert this bearing from degrees true to a compass bearing. And we can do this by adjusting for magnetic variation and deviation. By following our course to steer that we have calculated, the boat will sail along the ground track from our start position to our destination. Had we not done this, the tidal stream would have taken us some considerable distance away from our intended destination. And this is why we do a course to steer. In summary, these are the five steps that we took in order to calculate our course to steer. This is how we do a course to steer. I'm Paul Murray from Leaf Nautical Sailing Academy. We hope that you've enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.